The most powerful challenge to Rome's supremacy would come from the south, from the Carthaginian Empire. Carthage was a city-state in northern Africa with immense power and wealth. But Carthage didn't just pop into existence out of nowhere. The city was founded way back in 814 BC by a group of people from the city of Tyre, way over in Palestine. They were called the Phoenicians, and by the time they founded Carthage, they had already made their mark on world history. It's no accident, for instance, that words like phone and phonetics sound a lot like the word Phoenician. That's because the Phoenicians were one of the first to develop the spoken word into an actual written language. In fact, they were among the first to form sounds into written characters, creating an alphabet. Remnants of the Phoenician alphabet have survived even today in the language of one of the smallest countries in the world, the island of Malta. Not a bad shelf life for a language over 3,000 years old. But just who were these Phoenicians? The Bible refers to them as the Canaanites. These were the people the ancient Israelites went to war with after entering the Promised Land. Not only did the Israelites fail to successfully drive the Canaanites out of their new land, they began to adopt some of their pagan gods, a direct violation of the Ten Commandments. Predictably, this led to endless trouble for Israel. The Israelite King Ahab even married a Phoenician woman who introduced Israel to the worship of a false god named Baal. Her name would soon become synonymous with wickedness and cruelty in the Bible. It was Jezebel. And to bring us back full circle, it was her great niece that founded the city of Carthage. Now, it wasn't long before Carthage had become the largest and richest city in the Western world, with an extensive navy and merchant fleet that traded throughout the Mediterranean. As the Roman and Carthaginian empires expanded and threatened each other's territories, war was inevitable, or in this case, a series of wars. They're called the Punic Wars. The Carthaginians were led by a general named Hamilcar, whose oldest son, born in 247 BC, would go on to become one of the most famous generals in the history of the world. His name was Hannibal, a name that means joy of Baal, Remember the ancient Canaanite god? Hannibal's military strategies and tactics were way ahead of their time. In fact, they're written about and studied to this very day. 